Here's a gluten-free Bordelaise sauce recipe. This sauce is absolutely outstanding. If you have a special dinner, wine dinner, you should make this. To get started, we're going to need a large flat saute pan. We're going to add a quarter cup of onions to it. And we're going to add a half teaspoon of black peppercorns and three sprigs of thyme. We're going to heat that. And we're going to add one whole bottle of red wine. I like to use Cabernet Sauvignon. And you're going to bring this mixture up to a roll and boil, and you're going to reduce it. Once the mixture reduces by half, then you're going to add six cups of brown beef stock. I highly recommend that you make your own brown beef stock. This way you know what's in it and how salty it is because beef stock's normally very salty. And you're gonna bring it up to a boil and you're gonna keep reducing it. And give it a stir every so often. There shouldn't be anything that burns on the bottom. Once it's had time to reduce and the consistency starts to get a little thicker, you can taste it and determine how much kosher salt to add to it. If you'd like to thicken it a little quicker, you can take one tablespoon of cornstarch, mix it with a little bit of water, this is called a slurry, you can turn the flame off and you can slowly add a little bit, stir it, bring it back up to a boil and it will thicken up very quickly. And don't pour the entire slurry mixture in because it will become too thick and clumpy. When you have achieved the desired consistency, then strain it. This recipe will make two cups of sauce when finished. Once strained, I like to use a spoon or a spatula to push the remaining liquid through the strainer. You can make this sauce ahead of time, or you can also put it in a container and freeze it, and then use it when you need it. Thank you for watching. Well, I hope you enjoyed this video, and if you learned something new, please subscribe. It will keep you up to date on all my future videos. And also leave a comment on what you liked or what you didn't like, or what you'd like to see me cook next. Thanks again.